In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to use the push-pull tool. Uh, the push-pull tool belongs to the edit toolbar, and you can find that under view, toolbars, edit, if you've accidentally turned it off. So the first things we need to do is we actually need to have a surface to extrude or push-pull. So let's get the rectangle tool, draw out a nice big square like so, um, and then we're going to change the view so we can see it. Then maybe to the side of it, let's draw another little rectangle because I'm going to show you a few tricks you can do. So click on the push-pull tool to get it active and I recommend um, one click to begin and don't hold your finger down because you want to free up your finger so you can, you know, orbit and still push-pull um, and then click to finish. So again, you can click to begin, move upwards, touch the top of the surface over here and click to finish. I could also click here and then move that back and you can just simply push and pull the object up and down left or right. Another thing you can do is if I was to push pull this upwards I can actually type in an exact distance so I want to move that up um, 5000. Then what you can do is you can double click on the surface beside it and it will repeat the same dimension. So again, let's say we put another shape on the front of this using the circle tool and do the same here. Oh, that one wasn't actually on the right plane. You can see that because it's floating off to the side. So I'm going to hit the undo button and I'm going to touch the surface and click. And I can see that I'm on the surface because it goes blue and tells me on face. All right, so then we've got another surface here. Get the push pull tool, push pull that out and then we can uh, either double click or we can push pull that and touch the front face so they're now in line and we can even line that up as well. Um, the other little thing you can do with the push pull tool is if let's say we want to leave a line behind or break the surface what I can do is click on that surface see how it's pulling the whole the larger cube across if you press control just once then it will leave the line behind and then it, it virtually just leaves the surface um, behind and if you press control again while push pushing while pull, push pulling it will um, turn off that line so again press control creates a line press control again to toggle it off and then you lose the line and that essentially then breaks the surface and then you can push pull it in and out and then get the E, e for erase or eraser tool and then you can erase that. So another thing we can do is we can break surfaces up so with the line tool we could um, draw a line down the circle here and then get the push pull tool again and we could push pull that back until it reaches that surface or we could even take it through um, to the other side or maybe we need to go there first actually and then go through and if we touch that edge, see that red red edge there or midpoint or end point we can actually align to that and then that will push pull a hole through the actual object so again you could um, maybe come over to here and we could get the rectangle tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle in there push pull tool and then drag that down and that will then create a hole through the object. Um, another little thing we could do is um, if we wanted that rectangle to be more um, accurate, let's just go undo, we could actually use the offset tool um, and you can watch the offset tool tip to, to learn more about it but if we click on that we can then offset that surface and then get the push pull tool, push pull that down and touch the bottom edge and that will actually create a hole. Um, some reasons why a hole might not be cut is there might be a line um, underneath of it that's breaking the surface. So if I try and push pull that, that uh, surface down until it touches the bottom edge or bottom face and click, it's not going to break because there's a line in the way. So you need, just need to be careful about any lines that might be in the way and then you can 
push pull that down. 